Hi guys, I'm a Dimension Jump. Today I'll be doing my top 5 possibilities for Breath of the Wild 2. Now, yesterday we were given a Nintendo Direct for E3, and at the end of the Direct we were given, or we were shown, a trailer for Breath of the Wild 2, uh, and this trailer was more gameplay um, heavy, kind of, because we got to see Link doing um, some uh, stuff like um, uh, beating some enemies, uh, and also we got to see more from uh, what's, what could happen in the in the story, like the hand that we see um, on that's on Link, um, some new abilities, and just just and and also some Sky Islands, which which was which is really cool and interesting and really really interesting to see how the story is going to, going to unfold unfold in. Um, the game and also it's going to be released next year so I think that's a really cool thing and this list is just, it's just going to be some possibilities that could appear in the game um, some obvious um, some not might not not some might not be in the game and uh, this is basically my possibilities of what could or would couldn't happen in the game so for number five is more dungeons. Now we were given dungeons in the original Breath of the Wild, but they were merely just the same. And these are the uh, Divine Beasts. Uh, and with the Divine Beasts, I feel like all of them, including the fifth Divine Beast in the DLC of the Champions Ballad, were pretty much the same. In which you have to go to um, different terminals around the Divine Beast and just activate them. The only one that um, was very different from the dungeons in the game was um, Hyrule Castle, but that's basically the final end dungeon in like any other Zelda game. So for um, Breath of the Wild 2, I, I would like to see some more dungeons, um, possibly ones that fit the specific area of where Link is. Because like in the Breath of the Wild 2 trailer we, that we saw yesterday, um, in part of the trailer we get we got to see like. Um, Link f gliding over the sky in like some sky islands, and we, uh, if you look in, I think the um, I think top right hand of that um, bit of the trailer, you've got to see this sort of structural building thing, and that could possibly be the sort of um, wind-based sky temple thing, and that could be used to. Um, yeah, to like you know use wind as an element of how to beat the dungeon that sort of thing and then we could possibly be seeing some other dungeon like a fire dungeon an ice dungeon a water dungeon like all of these well-known dungeon type elements that we see in previous Zelda games instead of just oh activate a terminal go to the next terminal fight the blight that's it move on to the next one and it would be to see, cool to see like how these dungeons are will look like and what kind of puzzles we get to see in each one. For number four is seeing Gandalf's resurrection throughout the game. Now uh, in now in both trailers we get to see um, some part of Gandalf. With the first one um, we get to see Gandalf in this sort of like um, in, uh, motionless state because he's got the hand on his chest and then in in the TV trailer that we got in the, the next one we got yesterday, um, he you see him kind of moving a bit, and I like I would like to see him um, slowly just slowly resurrecting himself because I feel like that Gandalf has been in that position that he's been in in the first trailer for a few thousand or so years. I'm not sure how long Gandalf has been a corpse or how long he is how long he's been like that and. I would like to think I would like to see him slowly re trying to resurrect himself. So let's say at the beginning of his resurrection, he can just barely move. He can just barely move his feet, and then, and then like let's say, um, some time passes in the game, and then we get to see Gandalf speaking, and he's able to like you know walk like he's able to walk a bit, and he can conjure like a little bit of magic. Not a lot, just a bit, and then like let's say halfway through the game, he's more fleshed out in terms of like his body starting to heal itself, more color comes to his face, that sort of thing, and he's able to talk like let's say full on sentences and stuff like that, and then let's say at the very end of the game, we see Gandalf fully resurrected, him just summoning um, 
you know, spears and swords and him turning into his beast form like in Ocarina of Time or the Wind Waker or in Twilight Princess, something like that. I would really love to see that because we're going to see him just slowly resurrecting and slowly trying to build up power and slowly trying to find things like the Triforce or um, trying to find Link so he can defeat him so that he that he himself won't get defeated, that sort of thing. And yeah, so for number three is an appearance from Dark Link. Now, at the very beginning of the trailer, we get to see um, Malice sort of engulfing Link's hand. Now, I would like to think that the Malice for parts of the game is going to try and try and either control Link or possess him, depending on how it's going to work in the, in the sequel. And I would like to see like halfway through the game an appearance from Dark Link. And I would like to see, uh, 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 it could be possibly be like just Link walking through a particular dungeon and then either halfway or the boss room, the, um, the Malice then reacts. Because um, like it's where the arm is, like the glowing green arm that's on Link's right hand I think. It then reacts, um, goes all, all over Link's body and then separates and then we get to see Dark Link. And then we get like a, have a cool on boss fight or mini boss fight depending if Dark Link is going to be in the game and depending on if he's going to be a mini boss or, or a final dungeon boss. Um, I would like to see him be like a boss boss instead of just being a mini boss and it could be similar to um, the boss fight in uh, either um, the second Zelda game or from uh, Spirit Tracks or from uh, Ocarina of Time or all three of those games combined. Uh, it, it could be like you know those games combined it would be really cool and I would, like to, I would like to see some kind of appearance from Dark Link. For number two is redesigned boss fights. Now the bosses um, are a really interesting concept and a really well known thing in Zelda games because each boss is so unique and so different in how you approach them. Um, now I would like to see some of the fights be um, designed to the um, Breath of the Wild 2 formula. So for instance, um, in the, uh, or basically in the trailer, um, uh, we're going to see like Link um, f stopping a giant uh, spiked ball um and also uh and then also going through like um the some of the sky islands or one of them uh, to be in uh, to, uh, in fact and i would like to see those kinds of elements being brought into boss fights so for example let's say there's a um let's say one of the boss fights in in the sky islands we get to see um link filling a boss and it has the ability to like throw stuff at link uh, and link could go through the objects and then um, jump onto like a platform that's like hovering um, close by and then you could jump through another um, a projectile and then next one, next one, next one, um, hits the boss a couple of times and then um, he, and then you know, bish bash bosh, the boss is done. And it would be cool to see um, Link using his new abilities um, to his advantage and see how he, you, we can use those abilities like the stasis and the um, going through objects and um, seeing how we can use them to our advantage and see how we can use these for ourselves. And I think that I think that'll be really cool and it's something we I would like to see in um, the boss fights. And also um, it be it could be used for like something like the stone Talos that we saw in the trailer, where it was on um, this sort of Pocoblin camp, and we could and that could be an, uh, an example of how we can use a new arm ability to our advantage. And for number one is redesigned items. Now, in part of the trailer, we got to see Link using this dragon thing that spewed out fire. Now, this could be some kind of, um, you know, um, item that Link has found throughout the game. Or a, a new weapon or something like that. And this could be, like, let's say, uh, um, a fire rod, but it's in, like, you know, this ancient technology thing and it and that's why it can use fire because it's like you know because let, let's say the dragon thing is part of either Shika technology or Zona technology and it and it uses like um fire rods um because you know the fire rod is a, a well-known item and possibly um throughout the years um 
the fire rod that has appeared in previous Zelda games got developed somehow and that's why this dragon head thing was made because it it feeds off the power of fire rods and then we could have a fire we could, we could place a fire rod into the dragon thing and use it on you know ice and um, that weird worm thing we see it being used on that sort of thing and yeah and also we could also use the hand to like grapple ourselves towards um you know certain object like cliffs or buildings or whatever and uh, and it would be cool to see like you know let's say link getting you know hit uh, the, either the claw shots or the hook shots let's say and you know you think you're going to use them but instead they gain they get sucked into the hand thing and the hand thing then shoots out you know the claw shot uh, part you know the chain and the um hook bit and then we uh, they, uh, we can use that to like you know pull enemies towards us um grapple towards um other things but i feel like that feels a bit too much like scorpion from the mortal combat games that 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 would be like you know a bit of a down uh, you know a bit of slightly copyright stuff because like you know that is the sort of thing that scorpion can use uh, i'm just throwing stuff at the wall and see what sticks in terms of um this sort of thing and yeah, it would, be, it would be cool to see some kind of like um, items being redesigned to see what fits and see how it's going to be working in Breath of the Wild 2. So yeah, that's been my top 5 possibilities for um, Breath of the Wild 2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.